Those are the moments where you truly realize and start to reflect and be like, damn, I went through all of that and I didn't understand why at the time. Maybe I had this thought or this understanding of it, but now it brought me to this moment. Everything in my life has brought me to this moment of this is who I am as a man or woman. This is who I am as a soul, as my heart and my spirit. And hey, if you can't fucking appreciate that and see that, I was never the fucking problem. And not that they were too, and I'm not going to be all high and mighty. But hey, at least I stood up for myself. I'm proud of myself. I did that. Because now look where I am now. The people I'm surrounded by truly love and care for me and would do anything. And I could call them at 5 fucking a.m. and be like, yo, can we talk? Yo, what you, what you doing, bro? You trying to hang out or something? Those are the people that you need to make room and space for in your life. Real fucking shit. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a great Monday. Hopefully that's when I post this video because I got like three or four videos in the vault right now from this weekend. I hope you had a good weekend, though. It is the fiery soldier here to give you a motherfucking message. All right. This message is about love and romance, regardless of your age, background, gender, whatever the fuck you want to think about. This is the truth. And there's only a few ways that you can truly hold yourself back. From your true divine partnership all right and the healthy rather as business friends acquaintances love romance those type of relationships if you are going in a circle the same cycle that is getting you in the same loop and pattern emotionally physically psychologically spiritually if you're in the same cycle with a person or people and suppressing your emotions, suppressing and avoiding the truth, the, the confront, confrontation of the healing that is needed. When you continue to do that, I hope you know what damage is really causing you. It's causing you to truly be pushing yourself away from your true divine partnerships and unions and love and romance and friendships. And it's easier said than done. But if someone cannot see the value for what you are and what you bring of your energy, your time, the conversations, your true authentic self in any type of way, if they don't see the value in you, that's on them. It's going to hurt. But that's the only way to overcome and heal and surround yourself with people who truly see the value within you and they will cherish it and share it with you and communicate and express and experience that abundant love and this doesn't have to be love and romance it can be friends business casual acquaintances whatever the case of a relationship it may be the healthy true essence of a relationship that is long lasting and fulfilling on both needs and wants and desires that has a like-minded journey experience on the spiritual level and the emotional integrity the line of true authentic authentic self you know what i'm saying and it can be very difficult and challenging when you feel very isolated but understand the vibration and frequency of a radio station you tune into is what brings you closer and i'm not saying you got to be right on the dot 24 7 of this radio station but when you're just a little closer little by little day by day moment to moment just maintaining that that is what is going to really bring you that element of attraction of quantum physics the law of frequency and vibration the law of attraction, the law of assumption. That's where these, you know, concepts and context on the internet really comes to. And a lot of people don't really know what the fuck they're talking about. But learn how to decipher your understanding and intellect upon these things and how to navigate. But that is one of the few things that honestly can really push you away from your true connections that are from the divine your partnerships so is it really worth 
maintaining and being stuck in that fucking loop like a hamster running the wheel. The same cycle, the same story, the same old, same old answer that is leaving you unhappy, not satisfied in any type of way, drained, heartbroken, unfulfilled, even anger and frustration about the whole situation, but also with yourself. And this is where you got to not be hard on yourself. Take a moment to really sit back and ask yourself, is this really even worth it? Do I deserve better? I feel like I deserve better. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my power back and my authority and stand firm and hold the line of integrity and know my worth and value because I love myself. I believe and trust myself. But most importantly, the universe is not a fool. The divine is not a fool. Do you honestly think that the divine would send you the wrong person into your life and say, oh, this is the right person, but just the wrong time? No. Not the case at all. It's not. The universe, the divine is not stupid. If a fucking spider can make a spider web and do all that shit by itself, you think the fucking universe is dumb enough to send you the right person at the wrong time? Do you honestly think the universe is that stupid? Because if so, you're the one that's fucking stupid. <laughs> Real shit. And we've all been there. At least once. At least maybe a handful on both hands or one handful. You know what I'm saying? So just allow yourself to really see and accept the truth because when you learn when you learn to just understand how to communicate and interpret when the universe is telling you hey this door you already went through this is done but you got a bunch of keys right here and you got a bunch of doors so pick whatever key you want go to that door if that door doesn't open hmm, let me try this door oh that door open let's see what this is all about it's that simple but we as people that we have been programmed, but also just a natural instance of trying to fight, trying to fix something that is not worth fixing. or Because if you're trying to fight for someone to be in your life in any type of way, hey, um, you realize you're just, you're just giving your power back? Like every time you try to fight for someone, every time you try to fix something, you realize you're just giving your power back. You're not really loving yourself. You're not really showing up as, hey, this is who the fuck I am, and I know my worth and value. So if you can't see that, then that's on you. You know what I'm saying? That's how you got to be. And it's going to fucking hurt. But it's definitely going to make the space and room for the divine to see, like, oh, this motherfucker ain't playing games. You know what? There you go. You pass that test? Here you go. Here's the people that truly are meant to be in your life. Ain't got none of that time for the drama, the fake ass friends, the uh, the weird wish washy energy. Don't 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 even entertain that shit. Because at some point, especially if you're a fellow Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, this is why I'm just adding the astrology and what I know of what I'm experiencing. Shout out to the Leo King, David Palmer. If you don't know who that is, you better fucking go look him up. But if you're a Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. We have been dealing with the relationships, especially Gemini too, that we have been dealing with relationships that we're too afraid to walk away from and truly step into the relationships of all fronts that really serve us more fulfillment and of service from the divine. We're afraid to do that. Ask yourself why. So, you know what I'm saying? So Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and my Geminis. Also, happy Gemini season. Shit's getting crazy, but that's for a different video. But cancer, stop, stop repeating the same cycles and patterns. The world that you truly desire, that has way more than you can fucking fathom at this present moment, is really a test on how you handle and deal with things now. That's going to show you that doorway. Because it's already been shown. For everyone, regardless of your zodiac sign. That those doorways have been shown in every aspect for career, finances, love, romance, relationships on all fronts and levels. 
that world has already shown itself. It's just you against you. Holding yourself back because of fears or doubts or just a comfort thing. Is it really that comfortable? Is it really that connected? It's not. Once you step through that door and close it behind you without looking back and start walking in that doorway, that's when it's all gonna it's all gonna hit you like damn. I'm so glad I fucking walked through this door. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I gotta say for this video. I'm kinda running out of things to say. I don't even know what I'm gonna title this. I kinda just want to make these real life videos where I just talk about whatever it is I'm going through and hopefully at least one person hears a message that will change their life perspective in any type of way then I did my part and I hope you do yours and that's all I have for you ladies and gentlemen I hope you have a beautiful wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one stay blessed peace